if the death of Dr. Devlin is indeed the shooter, which seems to obtain a higher degree of possibility with every passing moment, then I, he must have been working alone. So hence, he stole the money from Crimson to finance his escape to Canada. We can't assume that. Well, then how do you explain the missing million from the fashionista's working account? I mean, she, how? There's no way that she would knowingly transfer money to the person or persons that may have shot the lead. When we find Devlin, he's going to tell me why he shot Michael. We are closing in on the ATM that was last used by the Phoenix physician, which is all the more reason why Stone Cold should not waste his energy on the menial task of transport. What are you talking about? I want to drive. No. But the grasshopper is very proficient behind the wheel, especially if it's an automatic transmission, and sees no reason why Stone Cold should waste his 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 mental and physical energy. I'm not tired, Spinelli. Okay. Perhaps we say we run into the. Dastardly Doctor and Stone Cold decides he needs to confer with him privately, as it were. You might need a, I don't know, a getaway driver. No, I don't need a getaway driver. Well, oh, 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 we'll stay a crazed flock of peace, confused by global warming. Shut up, please, for a minute. Sorry, the Jack does tend to talk too much. But I, look, I was just, I was just trying to help. You can speed up. Uh, unless I cannot. No, you can't, okay? You drive the slower, it's going to attract attention. A collision would attract even more attention. A collision? We haven't seen a car for miles. And there's no reason for the grasshopper to increase his speed. Why can't you just drive faster, Spinelli? Moose. Moose? We, have, we haven't even seen a moose. Well, moose calves, to be more specific. They tend to wander the roads of Canada this time of year. They have no understanding or fear of moving vehicles. They're very large, very awkward, and very hard to see at night. All right, put the brights on. I, I can't do that either. Why not? The five lines skink. The what? It's one of five lizard species in Canada. It's their mating season. They might be attracted to the lights, and I wouldn't want to squish one. All right, pull over. No, you wouldn't want to squish one either, karmically speaking. Who knows what I'll ever tip the karmic scales, and uh, be it a, the proverbial last straw or a skink. You're going to start driving faster. I'm going to drive. You got it? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. We have more important things to worry about than baby moose and lizards. Yeah, I should, for okay. I should forestall my wilderness anxiety by reviewing the... The specifics of the case. Focus, okay. okay. drive, review. Okay, go. We saw the medical tag being, being twine snakes. We determined that it was indeed Dr. Devlin's car. Yes, yes, a okay. Focus. Okay, so, um, Stone Cold uncovered that the Dashley doctor was selling an illegal experimental drug to the troubled Nicholas for $10 million. And then he realized that Stone Cold was on his tail and decided to leave town, but ended up at the GH morgue. And when was that exactly? Uh, Maximista and I, the Jackal, uh, stalled his departure. I, by feigning appendicitis, and Maximista by injecting him with a sedative, after which I surreptitiously placed the tracking device in his pants. Okay, we're back to his pants now. Very important detail. And then the clever Maximista uncovered the missing million, and I jackaled an ATM withdrawal in Wilton, Canada, and. Moose! 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 <laughs> How'd you get in the car? Maybe I picked the lock. Okay, Spinelli. Well, don't pick on Spinelli. How did she get the keys to the SUV? Answer me. Okay, perhaps that's me. She was snoo snooping around costing okay, you know, Stone Cold while I was just, focused. Just, I was... Give me the keys. Right? No, not until I get the million dollars back that Ian stole from Crimson. The restitution of the money is... Everything. My job is on the line. You know what? You get the keys. Now. Me? Yeah. Now? Yeah, right now. We gotta get back on the road. Let's go. Yeah, yeah no, sure. Uh, Jack OP, I can manage a little back down. Sure, nothing out of the ordinary. Okay, um... It was chapter nine. Complete with illustrations. Okay, uh, hands in the vehicle, please. Um, spread your... Uh, if you... No, oh, place your legs. Hit. You're good at this, thank you. Uh, okay, um, just another day at the office. Nothing exciting at all. Um, no keys! No keys! No. Oh, God, Spinelli, you didn't look hard enough. Give me, give me the keys and get in the car. I'm driving. Not you. But you can't just leave me here. Yeah, the bus will be here in a couple hours. The bus? What? No, Spinelli, you, you're not just going to leave me here in the middle of nowhere, are you, Spinelli? Hey, you want to stay here with Maxie and catch the bus home? Go you're ahead. You're not leaving me 
here, you're going to take me back to Port Charles, and Spinelli is going to transfer that million dollars back into the Crim Syndicate. Okay, giving Stone Cold orders is not only futile, it's counterproductive. If you leave me here, I'm going to have to call my dad. Do you think this is some kind of game? Okay, I know what you're doing. Some creep shot, Michael, and you want to take care of it. Good for you. But I really don't want to be any part of your revenge. I just want the money back so I don't lose okay, my job. One million will be in Kate's account by tomorrow. And if Stone Cold says it, it will be so, okay? Okay, well, will you at least wait with me? Are you coming or not, Spinelli? <laughs> is about to enter a very dangerous situation with a heavy heart. He's never left me in my time of me. I can't do that to him now. Okay? Hello. I know we were transporting the stowaway. I would have alerted you to that lamentable fact. Well, you're talking too much. You're causing me a lot of trouble right now. Just I'm well aware. Of but you know, helping Max Mason track the missing million did provide a did provide a valuable clue. No, you would have found it eventually. Most probably. And Stone is correct. I should not let myself get distracted by the dazzling Max Mason. You see, dazzling. Jacko finds himself in the most cruel and confounding snare of all. What? Are you tell me, you tell me you're in love with Maxie. What, what, what about Lulu? I know I was, and I, I, I am, and, and I, I love the blonde one as the kindest of friends. But my, my heart no longer races for her, which is best because she is most dangerously taken with the unknowable mob prince. In the meantime, Jacko's heart. Other things belong solely to Maximista, and every time, every time she looks on him, he falls more deeply under her spell. treated me with scorn and derision, especially when I was in love with Fair Lulu. But after I was Georgie's death, and when we worked in tandem to find the killer, and particularly when we were trapped in the crumbling water waste infrastructure below Port Charles, I, I realized that beneath the vain and shallow and sometimes snarky but undeniably gorgeous exterior lies a, a tender heart. It has been sorely tested. Just be careful. Stone Cold sense that Maximista is merely using the jackal and believe as I do that you will never look on me with eyes of love. You know, I know I should run like the wind, but I, I just... used to know someone kind of like Maxie. She, uh, she caused a lot of damage and some people hated her, but no one ever hurt her as badly as she hurt herself. It's kind of like Maxie. I mean, she isn't afraid to go after what she wants, but, you know, some people, once they get what they love, they can't help but destroy it. <laughs> we just get us. Stone Cold's insight is most depressing, albeit undoubtedly accurate. Hmm. Nice to call even now.